It's a huge honour to be able to be up here in front of you, our opening night of the 25th uh, anniversary of our film festival. As we look at aspects of Jewish culture, aspects of Jewish identity through film. That's what we're on about and we have been on for 25 years. Our interest is not just showing films, our interest is engaging our community in films and you're the community that we're engaging in. Without an audience we don't have a film festival, so thank you and cheers to you all. Although we are all about the festival, it's nice to see some new ideas. We're much more than that and have been for the last few years. Taking care of those who need the housing. We're yeah. invested in film as a way of creating community. We're very happy to continue our partnership with the Jewish Film Festival this year. A very diverse community, yeah. the religious, the cultural, the non-Jewish community, the broader Jewish community, the outreach community. Shalom everyone, thank you for coming out. And thank you for coming to this film as well. <laughs> That's such an old joke. Uh, as Robert mentioned, we've been community partners with a variety of local film festivals. I'm very pleased and privileged to have with us this evening the director of Jews and Money. We're invested as a media with filmmaker salons and uh, promoting young filmmakers in the community. Thanks to the festival for inviting uh, the film. Uninterrupted, sustained survival. We are about film all year round. Do you have any uh, questions? Film as a form of outreach. The dramatic rise of, of xenophobia in Europe. Yeah, film as a way uh, to enforce these aspects of Jewish identity. You won't succeed on Broadway if you don't have any Jews. So hence the new name, the Vancouver Jewish Film Centre. The Vancouver Jewish Film Center will be presenting the Jewish Film Festival from now on. Our plan is to expand to a monthly series so that the films that we show here and now, we can bring back on a monthly basis. We complain, we eat, and we're funny. Those are the three life forces of Judaism. <laughs> I learned a lot about my mom and her sense of humor and uh, no, it was a very, that was fantastic. Somehow we seem to have reached a new plateau this year. Something has happened in the consciousness of the community. It is wonderful to end our 25th anniversary film festival with a sellout show. There's a kind of recognition that what they're bringing is something that's worthwhile and maybe we should pay attention. You know, it's not really mainstream. It's important to get out um, ideas that we don't see every day. It's promote the culture, it's remind us of who we are, and uh, it keeps us connected. It's good films from around the world, you don't have to be Jewish to see them. More interesting documentaries, comedies, crime dramas, adventures, it just gets better every year. Very touching stories, the things I never learned in Talmud Torah. All the movies at the festival were amazing this year, can't wait for next year. Did you enjoy the film? It was terrific. That was excellent, I learned so much. And then it was like going home. It was wonderful. The best Broadway show I've seen. We loved it. I mean, I come from that milieu, so it was really enjoyable. Thank you. I have a two-word review. Too short. Everybody I know that is in this business, and those are the people that I know that are in this business, they fetch. You know, we still fetch. We just don't say fetching. We don't say that word. There's not a lot of people to use the ch sound around anymore. That's what we're missing, it's just the accent. We're the same people. It's easier when you share a, a common background. And that's, that's part of the reason why I like marrying a Jew. Also, I really like to complain. And they, they, they're at my level of complaining. Jewish audiences are, are insanely critical. They, they, we love to criticize. They love to go to a show and leave the show. I didn't care for it. Every day of your married life, your wife gives you a little mm. <laughs> That's the Christian. You okay? For 49 years, she never got off my father's back. Mm, mm, mm. You know, my father hasn't opened his mouth in a house in 17 years. And you know that my mother doesn't know that my father hasn't opened his mouth in a house. Two Jews sit down in the park, and as they sit down in a park bench, uh, one goes, oi, and the other one says, I thought we weren't going to talk about the kids. <laughs>